Microsoft are some assholes. They was asked, what about the people that don't have internet? And their reply was, oh, we have something for those people. The Xbox 360. Ain't that about a bitch. Alright, so y'all finna let me hop on this E3 bandwagon. Because, I mean, everybody else on YouTube is doing it. Only right that I can do it too. So, uh, E3 2013 is wrapping up. It's almost over with. And uh, it started on Monday, if I'm not mistaken. Everybody got there like Sunday, Saturday with their hotels and they got set up. So everything happened and started Monday, if I'm not mistaken. So they showed some gameplay of the Xbox One and they showed some gameplay of the PS4 and they also showed the PS4 for the first time. I know a lot of people were talking bad about the Xbox One, saying how it looked like a VCR, but the uh, PlayStation 4 doesn't really look that much better, so there it is, I guess. So I'll start at Microsoft uh, at the E3 uh, press conference. They did pretty good presentation-wise. I feel that uh, Microsoft won, and I only say that because I know some of you are probably, some, some assholes are going to find my video and probably already thumbs it down and writing a comment right now. How did, how did Microsoft win? I just feel like they presented the game better, and I say that because their game didn't freeze. Sony, when they was presenting the uh, PlayStation 4, their game froze a couple of times on Assassin's Creed. They had, and I don't, if, I, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be offensive, but uh, was it a Chinese or a Japanese dude uh, that was presenting the game? We couldn't really understand what he was saying. I'm just being honest with you. When you, They have to talk really slow and clear for us to understand, and we couldn't understand. Like I said, Microsoft, they presented their stuff better, but I mean, it, it, it doesn't mean anything. Xbox One game is looking pretty shitty right now. Like. Uh, I'm pretty sure you already heard this. I'm I'm not I'm not acting like I'm the first one telling you this. I'm pretty sure you heard this from like T Martin or something. But uh, you got to be connected to the internet within every 24 hours. You have to have a 1.5 download speed, or you really won't be able to play the game because it's not gonna. I guess I don't I don't know exactly what's gonna happen. But they said if you don't have a 1.5 download, at least you won't really be able to do nothing on the game. That if that ain't about a bitch, but. Uh, it's, it's a lot of stuff. I also heard that headsets will not work on there. So all the people that have Turtle Beaches, Astros, Tritons, you, you have to buy a new headset. So I bought my headset like two months ago. So I had to go out and buy a brand new headset if I was to buy the Xbox One. So that, that sucks. So uh, I guess I'll go to Sony. Sony, um, Sony, they did pretty good. They sold a lot of games. That people wanted to hear Kingdom Hearts. I never played it before, but I know a lot of people got up and just, they just uh, I I don't know ejaculated inside the inside the place in in the seats. But uh, I never played it before. A lot of people really got happy. They they really made them go to Sony. Uh, Sony also has uh, Infamous Second Son. That's a game that I like on the first one. So I I really want to get that Killzone Four. Is pretty good. It has good graphics, but all right, so Killzone to me it remind me of Crisis. You can be invisible on there also. Um, it, it's kind of it's kind of stupid. Like I hate playing a multiplayer game. We get mad for people being in the corner and we can't see them. So you can only imagine if somebody's invisible standing right there in front of you and you can't see them. Stuff like that. It's annoying. Just make a game so we can see each other and shoot. But I, I don't know. Maybe they'll bring it back. Maybe they won't. We'll see. But it's a game that I'm probably looking forward to getting. Um, they show a lot of games. I think Sony showed more games than Microsoft. But they showed a lot of games that people really aren't concerned about. Like third-party games. Games that are more for, uh, I guess, like the youth. Maybe kids from 10 to, I guess, teenage, 13 or something. Younger kids. Games that we're pr pretty much not going to be buying, but they did show more games, so uh, I got to give them that much. Uh, so, to me, it's looking like PlayStation 4. I don't have to have internet every 24 hours. I don't have to have a 1.5 down. I don't have to buy a new headset. So, that's that's a big thing for me. And then, also, the game is $100 cheaper. I know a lot of people are saying oh, all the cheap people are going to get the PS4. Shut your ass up. Like the PlayStation 3 costs more 
than Xbox 360. So I had, I got the PlayStation 4 first. So what are you saying? All the Xbox people are cheap? If Pretty much, if you're saying that, then that's what it means. It's, I'm just saying. So I'm getting it because it's cheaper. The internet, the headset thing. And the extra money, I can buy another game or another controller. So I really don't feel like hearing all that stuff that they're talking about. People people are fanboying. Console war is everywhere. I mean, they... These people are taking it all with the Facebook. Now, it's, it ain't even all that crucial. It's it's just a game, man. It's, it's just a game. It's like getting mad at your neighbor because they have a fool and you have a shit. Like, calm your ass down and be happy you got a fucking car. That's, that's just what I'm saying. Like, be happy you have a console if you have one because there's a lot of people that are not going to be able to buy it. So, just just shut up by the game. That's how I feel. Uh, I might want to buy both, but for sure, as hell, I'm buying a PlayStation 4. Xbox. It's not even looking like I'm even considering that right now. That's like that's not even an option. I'm not even trying to get it. Uh, too much stupid stuff. I don't feel like having to deal with all that stuff. So I'm probably not gonna get it. I'm hoping that most of my friends go to the uh, the PS4 so I can be able to continue playing with you guys. But then again, it is your money. You buy what you want to buy. But for me, it's looking like the PS4. Like I said, that uh, the games they have. Uh, I'm not sure of all of. Um, Microsoft exclusives, but I know they have Halo 4 and it's it's not that many games. They're probably going they didn't say anything about Gears of War, but I'm pretty sure they're going to be making one. So, uh like I said, it's looking like PS4 is going to be the uh superior console of the next gen, but that's just my opinion. So, if you wouldn't mind drop me a like, I will do more videos on this and everything that I said, I will leave in the description. And I'm gonna finish with this one thing. Microsoft are some assholes. They was asked, what about the people that don't have internet? And their reply was, oh, we have something for those people. The Xbox 360. Ain't that about a bitch? Like really, that was the deciding factor. F Microsoft, I'm going with Sony. But the gameplay is about to end. If you wouldn't mind, drop me a like. I would really appreciate it. It's been your boy RC and I'm out, peace.